All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on the Elation Podcast today. We are with the legendary Miss T. Yes, the legend in the building. The legend is in the building. How about you time. Doing? I know. I have it's to about bust time. to get here. I know. I know. <laughs> by now. But it's my fault. I have to get up my status before I can interview someone like yourself. I understand that. You and know? I also understand that this industry is male dominant. Yes, it is. So all the guys yes, stick together. Yes, yeah. And they forget about yeah, the women. Nah, I I, I definitely like women more than guys. I can tell you that much. Um, even though it is Pride Month, we are definitely yeah. on the women path over oh, here. Oh, it's Pride Month. Yeah. Oh, I should go to Coach. Because they have all the Pride designs. I love them. All the colors. Oh, the okay. rainbow colors. I, I wouldn't know. It. Well, you don't know. No, I wouldn't coach, know. Coach, Coach. You know the Coach well, No, store? I know under the brand, but I wouldn't know they would have all the colors this oh, yeah. time Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't know nothing about that. But girls, we, we into that. I like that. <laughs> I love Coach. Well, how you doing? I'm doing fine, good, yeah. excellent. It's yep. good, it's mm -hmm. good. Well, you know, I mean, I know we know a lot about your legendary status, but we like to get into a little bit of the origin so we talk about your back history and where you're okay. from and all that stuff. So let's just tell the people, where are you from? I am from the Six War. <laughs> they call it the Six Wall, the Treme area. The Treme area. Yeah, what that's, an amazing place to go. That's come from. in uh, around North Claiborne. Right. And uh, a lot of the second lines always happen around that area. Right. So it's like kind of in the middle of, of everything. Absolutely. Around Louis Armstrong, Armstrong Pope. Yep. That's uh, around there. I know where you're Mahalia at. Jackson uh, Theater around yep. there. So the area I'm from is very historical, so I have to put that out there. Absolutely. <laughs> Lots of music have come from that area. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, yes, well, yes. So I, um, I know music isn't exactly everything you've done because mm -hmm. you've done some some work at school too in a different yeah. field right yeah what, what did you get your degree in i got my degree in uh, medical building and coding and coding it's a technical degree right. yes and i went back for um uh, ma will be medical uh, assistant so i'm doing that i really wanted to do the phlebotomist i want to learn how to stick people so <laughs> just want to <laughs> Look, get all my certifications up. You got to tell me that. Was that just like a, that, was that like a childhood thing? That you just like... Nah, it's just, I, I like the medical field for some reason. I don't yeah. know why, but it's it's a part of what I'm doing and music also too. So right. yeah, I'm doing both. Awesome. But entrepreneur I'm a, and both. Entrepreneur. No, I know you're yeah. proud of the coding degree, which is crazy. It threw me off when I read that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Why, well, just, why would it throw you well, off? Well, just because, you know, I, I see you as legendary Miss T. Uh -huh. So, you know, coding isn't exactly something I would have put in, in the realm of an artist. Sometimes. I mean, depending on if an artist wants to expand and want uh, more than one strands of income like I do. Right. Right, 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 right. right <laughs> That's right. why. Right, because you understand what music is. Oh, which, yeah. Which isn't always steady. Not always steady, uh, sometimes slow, then sometimes you could be having a good, good, good month. Like one month, I, I made like $5,000. I was like, damn it, one month, yeah, I did good, you know. <laughs> and then one month, I'll make a 1000 right. or 15 you know what I'm saying? So it's off and on. So it's just, it's just good sometimes to be consistent with other things and have, you know, your hands in other things. Like, it's a good thing. Because if one thing ain't working, you got this one working. Absolutely not. Right? Also, I have two books. Right. Yeah, we're well, we, we definitely going to get into that. So okay. tell me about the books. One of, the, of my books is called I'm Stronger and Wiser Now, and it's talking about what happened when I was younger. Uh, so it's just, it's about, it's about trial trial and error, going through things, you know, being a blamer, then you know, uh, getting to know yourself far as a woman and knowing that the storms and stuff don't last forever. Yeah, so I had to go I had to go through everything that I went through to know that storms don't last forever. Right. So that's where I get it from, just going through everything that I ever been through, musically, personally, or whatever. I know that it ain't going to last for a very long time. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. whether so it's that's good the, or bad. Yeah. Right? right, right, right. You know? So, I Am Stronger and Wiser Now is my testimony. Also, I was the first girl that was signed to Cash Money. I know, I know. A lot of people don't know we're, that, we're but I met Cash Money. They were thir I was 13. Were you 13? I was I was in a club, sneaking in a club. <laughs> they had the club called a Big Easy uh -huh. in New Orleans. And I was in there with another artist, and they used to call me Terrible T. <laughs> that was my name, because I wanted to be gangster. <laughs> and then they had the, uh, I don't want to say her name, but she was, she was, we was like a group or whatever. And we started performing and Slim saw me. And Slim was like, I like your voice. And he gave me a call, but I didn't really call him right then and now. <laughs> no, I didn't call him because 
they had so many guys that was interested in me. Right. And then, you know, I was like, boom, boom, boom. I had the body and everything going on when I was like 13. So when I was like 13, 14, I looked like I was 18 and 19. And I used to be lying. <laughs> That's why you were able to get in, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 18. <laughs> lie, lie. <laughs> so I used to lie and everything. But anyway, I didn't call Slim right then and there. Slim from Cash Money. And then I saw uh, Baby was in there also, and he gave me a call. So they both was interested, but they didn't know how old I was. So once I heard DJ Jimmy, that mm -hmm. really influenced me. Like, DJ Jimmy was like the bounce pinnacle back then. Like, he was the king of bounce. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they said Precise helped him on that album, and Juvenile also on that album, too. And I tell you... It was like New Orleans' own culture. New Orleans finally had something for themselves. Right. Our own bouncy music. So right. it was like exciting. So when I got hip to DJ Jimmy, one day I saw that cash money card. <laughs> I said, let me call Slim. Let me call. And I called him and he was like, I been getting you this card. You just calling me? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I want to do music. And they didn't know I was that young because I was lying to everybody. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm tw yeah, I'm twenty. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> well, well, so what was the first thing they did with you? Did they did they, they put oh, you in the studio man. right away? Um, nah, we didn't go to the studio. I kind of like hung around them, and they kind of was like, "Bust this rap," you know. And then I start rapping, and they'd be like, "You sound like the brand, or you sound like no rapping like this." <laughs> 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 it, it was like the concepts they used to give us, buku concepts. On everybody, to Lil Wayne, to BG, to PMW, to all of us, to Cash Money First roster, it was like a count. What you got? No, let me hear what you got. Let me hear what you got. Baby and uh, Slim is good with uh, like picking up artists and like, you know, arranging songs right. and stuff like that. Oh, they help. One of my biggest songs from New Orleans is Creeping, and that came from Baby. Okay. He he heard an artist and he was like, "You need to do an answer back to that." But mine is totally different. You wouldn't even know mine an answer back. Right. It had MC Spud had a song called "You Better Watch Them Hoes Where You Sleep and Them Dog Ass Hoes Be Creeping," and Baby heard it. He was like, "Fat, you should do that song." And I was like, "What song? You should make a girl version creeping." And I was like, "You think so?" And I did it. I did my own version. But mine lasts longer than his. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Because I'm that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that matters. Yeah, that's what, that's what really that's matters. That's what matters. It, it show you what artists got talent and what, which uh, ones don't. Huh? Listen, longevity mm -hmm. is, uh, of a record is what stamps you. Oh, yeah. And I'm still getting booked off for stuff that I've been doing since I was 13, 14. Yep. I'm serious. Yep. Creeping, fuck them other hoes. Mm-hmm. All those songs, why you acting funny? That's me, the girl, me. That's me, legendary Missy. Uh, the song with BG, uh, wheelchairs, all those songs. Uh, all those songs are still moving. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's awesome. I'm that bitch. Well, but you also you have some family history of music too. I heard your grandfather sang with Fast Domino. Oh, my grandfather did, and my grandfather is 94. Wow. Ah, oh, 94 years old, and uh, he was he. Had the opportunity to go on tour with him, but he chose his family. Got you. You know, yeah, and you know, you know, sometimes men don't do that. No, I don't, most of the time they don't do that. Yeah, they don't do that. Because, <laughs> you know, they could go on tour, fuck with the hoes, or the group is. Well, but even, even go make the money, you know? Like, yeah. You know, even if it's yeah. just about that part, you know? Yeah. Like, you yeah, know, it, yeah, it, yeah. He it's, chose it's... his family, though. He wanted to be a dad. And, you know, whatever. But I that's wish awesome. I wish she would have. Nah, yeah, it would have made, made it a little status. Yeah, it would have made it a little easy you know? for us. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Fast Domino is one of my favorites. You know, Fast from, Domino yeah, is from from because one of one of my good friends is uh, Dom um, Bartholomew, uh -huh. and his dad uh, wrote uh, songs for Elvis. Oh wow! Oh, when I tell you, it's like, like he really his foot is really in the industry. He be at Grammy parties and everything. Like, that's my partner. Like, he was the first one that started recording me when I was with Cash Money. Wow. Because he had his own studio and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, you're going to meet him. You're going to meet him. You know what's funny? Most people don't realize how many black writers wrote for Elvis. Yes. 
Yes. I mean, I think I think there's probably I have only heard of black writers write for Elvis. Yes. I haven't heard of any white ones, if, to be honest with you. I think it was only black ones. Yeah, well, I mean, I know the We need to get him on this podcast. No, I, he could talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, Cuz his dad was phenomenal like for that's, real. That's awesome. You no. know what? I love the history of New Orleans. And I kind of get mad when I don't see the representation like right. you just can't say bounces hood and this ghetto and all that. Hood, ghetto, and all that, that's still a part of this city. It's, it's still a part, part of the of culture. culture. 100%. Exactly. So I just feel like it really needed, it need to be like, uh, they need to really protest it, like really talk about it more, you know, and put it in more of the historical uh, museums and stuff. Like I wanted to do a bounce museum. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you still could include No Limit. You still could include cash money because right. that's a part of the culture. Right. But sometimes when people come down here, they want to shake. They not understanding the culture. Well, and But if we had it in textbooks or we had right. it. Right. Well, but I also you know, feel like a lot of, I feel the South is great with opening up tight people up. Yeah. And, and when, you know, especially when you traveled around a little bit, you realize that people aren't as relaxed with culture yeah. as we are down here. We're yeah. open to it. We want it. We appreciate it. Yeah. A lot of places are kind of tight in that sense. Where but they, that bounce museum would be so dope. Right. Well, I agree. But it, it the bounce music allows people to be free and get mm -hmm. into that. So that's why Because I feel they like, keep changing the story. Right, 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 right. People not really telling the old authentic story like club rumors, Big Easy, Dito, uh, Big Man's like, they be coming up with uh, clubs and I be like, but where that club was? Right. Because right. I was out at right. 13. Yeah, I right. was hopping and, in all of them. That was one of them, yeah. Oh yeah, so... You know, I just feel like some, well, maybe it might be me and you, could really, like, really explore and tell a story about bounce music but and have it needs it to accurate. be done. Absolutely. At least, at least it'd be accurate. 100%. Like, yeah. Yeah, and not tainted. Not Yeah, the real yeah. people, like Gregory D. You had Gregory D in the beginning. You had Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh and Gregory D was a group at one time. You had yeah. Mia X. You had Females in Charge. You had Juicy. You had Deja Ray. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of these people play parts when it comes to bounce. A hundred percent. And it need to be showcased. Well, and was Mia, and I know Mia's no, no limit, but was but Mia came after you or? Mia came, be, Mia came before me with bounce. Okay. And uh, with, uh, I was I was out before uh, the no, no limit thing. Okay, you I got know? you. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. But what I'm Love saying is, Mia, that's why. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mia, Mia is phenomenal in everything yeah. that she do. So I'm just saying like, it need to kind of be showcased it on, you know, upcoming females that's coming up, uh, you know, yeah, well, mere it, history. Well, uh, even, and even what's going on now in Bounce, because yes. it's continuing. Yes, it's and it's right. a it's a history, and it's gonna keep changing, right. like like genre of music. Right. And I just feel like it needs to be showcased. One hundred percent. But somebody have to take control, the leadership of it. Hey, well, look, what we were talking about earlier. That's what <laughs> nobody, nobody's leading this. Exactly. This herd of cattle and and of I artists. just feel like it could happen. Like, like you know, like. Even though, you know, I'm an older artist now, so I understand my position. Even though I do still make money and everything off of music, I like to tap into a and or tap into a CEO of a record company and stuff like that. Like, I'm starting my own company, you know, uh, top tier entertainment or whatever, because I love business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, when people are like, oh, you going to the medical, or you going to, I ain't going, I'll probably work for somebody for a little bit, but I'm really going, I'm a, I'm a teacher. Going to learn. I'm a, yeah, I'm a student. I'm a student. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lay up there and go to a music, I know a lot about music right. already. Probably I want to learn, like, how to do the piano notes or whatever, but I right. probably could play off the top of my head. Right. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't go for that, but right. I'm a student when it comes to everything. And anything that I do, believe me, is going to have entrepreneurship in it. Right, absolutely. Oh, yeah, man. That's the I only love thing, it. It's the only way to keep things moving. But leaders do that. Leaders just keep moving, you know? And entrepreneurs kind of find what's missing. Right. And see, that is, that, it, that see that... That uh, history of bounce, it need to be told because there's another museum I went to, and it's right there by the Riverwalk. They had Frida in there, uh, another group, but they wasn't even bounce. And maybe we, and that was it. And it's like it's a whole culture, yeah, that needs to be talked about. And we all, we all, we all, we we could have the second line history and all that in there, like in that museum where everybody could come. And know about bounce culture, so people we could stop saying they stealing our stuff. Right. 
But, but I also oh. feel like it's a great time and age where like the legendary bounce artists are at the right timing in their their career to yeah. be, to to pass the torch, but talk about the history and make sure that it's moved on properly. You yeah. know what I mean? And 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 be more of leaders. And yeah, and I see yeah. that a lot. Like a lot of us don't want to let that go. Like <laughs> right, right. The artistry. Right. But you you gonna always have it. Right. You gonna always have yeah, it. Yeah. No, you never let go of your legendary song. Nah. No. But it's good to evolve. A hundred percent. Oh, a hundred percent. So what do you think about some of the new bounce artists? Like, um, I mean, I know Subtweet Sean says he's bounced. And, I like him. Yeah. I like him because he's a little different. Yeah. I like the different ones. Yeah, they come a little different. Yeah. But see the ones that keep talking about the same thing? I, I'm tuned out. Like, I tune out quick. I be like, I don't want to hear that. Right. I want to hear about dick all the time. Right. <laughs> dick is not my savior, bitch. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Dick, 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 dick. I be like, what the fuck? Turn it off, bitch. <laughs> I want to hear that. Yeah, you've heard that one before, huh? Oh, I hate it. Uh, but I don't knock them for what they do. I just feel like at a time they're going to have to evolve. Be more creative. Be more creative. Like, even with my album, Bounce Legend, right? I have dance songs on there. I have songs about not messing with a dude. I have a song about loving a dude. You know, like, it's like a variety. It's just not on one thing. On it's I got another song called On My Body, and On My Body is about me and a man making love. But it ain't. Eat it in the pussy. Eat it in the pussy. Eat it. It's like... <laughs> well, you know, there's no imagination anymore. It's right on. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can't imagine Man, that. even like when like, the girl, the girl's dress code. Oh, I remember I we wanted to be, when we were younger, we wanted to be fly like Eve. Right. You know, on our shit like Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. uh, because she was more like a boss, right. you know? Right. Now they want all their eggs cheese out. Well, bitch, why you ain't come outside with drawers on? <laughs> Jesus, what's up about the drawers, bitch? I, I, can't, I don't like it. I, I, I don't blame you. I it's don't a like it. It's a different culture. It is. It's a different culture. And it, and it's like they do, it's like attention seeking. Like everybody doing something to go viral. Nobody well, want to be their self. Everybody um, want to be fake rich. Well, that's the social media thing. That's what killed oh, everybody. Oh, I hate it, the it, fake it, rich it killed, shit. It killed everybody. But that, but that's the, that's unfortunately like that's a bad place for the culture to go, you know. In my opinion, oh like, man, you know, it just it, it scares me a little bit because like, what's next, you know? Like, how I think that uh, that uh, we need the kind of the legends, we need the kind of usher in, excuse me, younger people, yeah, and just telling them the right things instead of the wrong. Show them some accountability, responsibility, yes, because I played my part. Talking about dudes creeping and like the whole, like all dudes creep, like <laughs> just just one mindset, you know. But I had to get older and mature to know that, you know, there's different type of dudes, and I have dated different type of dudes to know they're right. different type of dudes, right? Yo, no, Man, I you, use that three times. Huh? You, gotta, you gotta go through the life experiences. <laughs> yeah, the life experiences and stuff. So you know, but but we have we also have to pass that down because it definitely. Gets we lost have to. in translation. We have to, and we have to kind of like teach them the proper way because some shit just be like, "Damn, you did it like that." Now that's too ghetto. Mm -hmm. Like you could have <laughs> did it this way, you know. But see, I see, I see Fiend doing that a lot. I see Fiend talking oh, to a lot Fiend, of the man, 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 man. Shout out Fiend, man. I love you know. Fiend, that's my partner. Absolutely. When I tell you, Fiend is like the Godfather. I don't know if he, uh, what you call him, Barry White, that voice? That, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He have an excellent yeah. radio voice out of this world. He could take a job on being a... Um, for to, for characters? Talking yeah, to, yeah, 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 characters. Yep. yep. And voiceovers. Yeah, voiceovers, yeah, 100%. Especially could do an audio book. Sleepy Bear, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 100%. Shout out to Fee, Shout man, that's Fiend. my partner, Absolutely. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Um, well, so, so I guess... I, I, not to create some controversy, but who is the real queen of bounce? Me. Yeah, I know. I, I the woman because they keep bringing up the big Frida. I think Frida good at what he do. Right. But uh, I, uh, uh, the only queen is a woman. <laughs> uh, the king is a man. Right. High five. You know. So I agree. And, and, and I, I like I like Frida. No, we, no disrespect, but there's yeah. not a queen. A of A man bounce. cannot be a queen. No. Even no. if you want to be a queen. Right. 
you know. So no but disrespect. No, so they gotta give you. They gotta give you your flowers. Man, they need to, cause I'm sick of these people. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of coming out with songs sounding better than the uh, <laughs> <laughs> they new songs. Right, than they new songs. Okay. Right. My old songs sounded better than they <laughs> new songs. What the fuck. <laughs> the fucking queen, man. Well. So the queen has a, a a princess bounce too, huh? Who? Queasy. Oh yes. Uh huh. My little princess. Uh huh. Your little princess. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, she's an artist Queen as well. Queen should have been doing. I don't know how long Queen been doing it. Six, seven years now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't even know she wanted to do music. Really. Queen was in college playing around, and she used to watch everything that I used to go go through in music. So she just figured that everything was bad, so she didn't want to tell me <laughs> until she got into school. And then she, when she was in college, she like, uh, I wrote a uh, song you want to hear? No, what the fuck you writing a song for? Let me hear You know, let me hear Oh, I write a song good. Here she come. Another song, like. Uh-oh. Caught, caught the bug, huh? I said, Queen. If you really won't do it, write the song for real, for real. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to pay for your studio time. And she wrote a song, and I paid for her studio time. And there you go. Yeah. And that, I, both of my kids, I think, got uh, the music bug. Nah, well, it's hard not to. You know, when know. it starts with the family, it's Yeah, because I got to. it from my grandpa, remember? Yeah, yeah. Not only my grandpa on my daddy's side, but my whole side of my mama family, these bitches could sing it way better than me. <laughs> They so cold, like gospel, woo, woo, I mean. Well, and I'm sure in the church too, is a, that was, you know. They dope. Yeah, yeah. I started off in the church though. Right, yeah. But baby, these bitches, they cold. <laughs> so yeah, I came from both, both yeah. sides, my mama's side and my dad's side. But, you know, I watched my grandpa playing a band, like, you know, had his own band. They used to have his band, like, in a garage they used to play. So we used to watch that when we was younger or whatever. I also got a, a famous cousin named L.O.G. Okay. Remember that? I Y'all be having G's. Yeah. We be having soldiers. On my new album, Bounce Legend, he produced most of the tracks. And uh, he's still doing music, too. Okay. Yeah, so don't think everybody not doing it. Oh, no, Cause absolutely. Because you don't be hearing about it. No, absolutely. No, it's one thing about music is, is there's a lot of people working in closets that nobody listens to or hears right now. You know? I know, huh? And there's only so much space in the universe for marketing, I guess. You think so? I don't know. Oh, you think it's they picks and choose? Well, Who of they course pick? they pick and choose. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's... Come on, let's be honest. Trying to be nice about it, but it it, it definitely is a... Uh... Do you think that's fair? Oh, no, absolutely not. But has it ever been fair? No. I mean, it was either... It was either wait. I mean, it was always wait till it blows and then steal it. It was, it was kind of always... Yeah, the, that's what they used to do. You know, and... Now it's wait till you blow on social media and steal your fans, you know. Yeah. So it's uh, it's a little bit different, but um, I mean, I'm glad God be holding me in plain sight because I be putting a lot of new shit up there. Nobody ain't get me yet. <laughs> <laughs> stay, listen, if you can stay independent and still make money, that's the best way to go. Man, I think so too. Yeah. But it's, I think also if you could kind of broaden your horizons and get more fans than New Orleans. Yeah. And a little bigger than that, Agreed. like uh, the, four, five, four, five states. Listen, man, that, you could be rich. That, I agree. That people think it takes. Yeah, but that's what we were talking about earlier. The platforms for those things don't exist down here right now. Nobody right. is uplifting these younger artists and creating a lane for them to truly make money. And a radio station whack too. We need well, to buy every, because everything's station. corporate. Yeah, everything gets a list of what to play. They don't actually pick it. There's no DJs breaking songs anymore. It's yeah, like, that's it's, fucked up. I, I mean, tell me about it. I hate it. I mean, it's just it's just not because the way. it's. Kind of like dampering people's dreams, it's, you know. It's also I was that young girl that was listening to Tina Turner. It's also force feeding the culture. Yeah, you know, making me like something I really don't like. Right, you know. And after I hear it twelve times on the radio, I'm probably gonna sing it because it's the only thing I've been yeah, listening to. Yeah, it's repetition. You know. Yeah. So there's no real. That's like programming. Yeah, yeah, but that's what all radio stations are now. But I'm just saying what we could do. I'm just saying, like, if we gonna complain about shit, I want to find a solution too. Yeah, I want to find a solution too. And and honestly, this podcast is one of my answers to a solution okay. because we're talking about it. Yeah. But that's the first step. Now we got to find an answer to where we go. 
but we still we still need people down here like ARs and and people with the wheel. Yeah, and, and that's, I agree. That's what we're missing because I feel like we could cultivate anything that we got. We got we've got enough. Um, so how the movie business able to do it down here and the music can't translate? Well, so the the movie specifically really started for for actually you know. New Orleans, and I found this out just a couple of days ago. You know, we had the first indoor movie theater in okay. 1876 um, in the country. We were the first ones. So our movie, the movies have actually been um, like here a long time. They they filmed the first Tarzan movie here, I think in 19, like 15 or 1912 or something. So they've been filming movies here for a long time, only because I think the landscape is so different. You can go get all kinds of different landscapes. But what started to boom was the tax incentives, and which we wrote before most states did mm -hmm. outside of the California and New York. Yeah. Um, and um, and so that the tax credits of what brought these big companies like Disney and Netflix and Amazon and HBO and all these people filming down here. Mm -hmm. But music isn't involved in that. I know that don't make sense though, because uh, music is entertainment. I, listen, I have the Dolby room next door. The part of what we are actually all participating uh, participating in with legislation right now is trying to get them to add the post into the film so that at least the audio in the film can be covered by the tax credits. But right Damn. now, all the post editing leaves. So, so it just it's. It's stupid that it's not included, right? But it's no one advocated for it. They were advocating for film, you know, and 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 so it's one thing that I learned about legislation is you can't force the door open. They have to give you the door because you, you there's only so many right. bills you can jump on every year but, and how many sessions and da 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 da. So you really kind of have to. Because don't there you wait. agree that at least New Orleans should be the musical musical capital of the South? Oh, I agree. At least. Well, so. It goes back to the Grammy Association. Because they saying it's Atlanta. Well, so wait, but you know, in the Grammy Association, we are in the Memphis chapter. Really? We don't even have our own chapter. I ain't know that. Yeah. How screwed up is that? Like, so I met the guy that's over the Grammy. You talking about Reed, right? Reed Wick. I met Reed, yeah. but there's another one. Um, so Reed stepped down. I don't know the new guy's name, um, but Reed's doing more for Memphis now than New Orleans. But because we work at uh, Loyola, right? Uh, yeah, I know he works a lot with Ro Loyola. Yeah, because he know. over the music program over there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're talking about UP though. No, that's UP and Reed though. Oh, and Reed, Reed. I okay. think Reed is over UP. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right. So. Um, but I didn't realize that we didn't have our own chapter until I got involved with uh, with. With Reed and all them, all them down here with the Grammy Association, mm. um, and I was like, New Orleans didn't have its own chapter. Like we in, we we invented a lot of music, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, so but that respect level has to be, you know, brought out. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your experience filming here with Queasy in the in the video? Because we shot we shot her video here, didn't we? Oh yeah, that this was my first time. Oh yeah, yeah. So I didn't even know this exist, and we met up with Fiend. And then Fiend was telling me about elation and stuff like that. I didn't know it was a spot where you could put a car in. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't know none of that, yeah. you know? So uh, I was just like amazed. And then it was like, they got studio, studio this, they got interns. And, and it was just like amazing to me, you know, because I want, I probably want to do a video here yeah. soon. Yeah. Awesome. But well, we, we loved having you here. Yeah. So it was yeah. Good. It's, it was this is dope. Guys. This is dope. And New Orleans needs something like this. They don't They don't have nothing like this no, nowhere else. I, I tried my best. I tried to bring LA to LA. Oh, yeah. This is LA, yeah. baby. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> well, so um, tell me a little bit more about your books and, and uh, like, how did that come to? Like, oh, man. I'm, I always was like a writer. Like, I always write songs. Like, it take me nothing. Like, you could give me, you could say something and I'll make a whole hook out of a word. Like, I always was a writer, even when I was younger. So, uh, you know, writing songs, I started writing down, like, journaling and writing down my experience on what I've been through. And then sometimes, well, not sometimes, most of the times, well, for me, it helped me therapeutically just writing everything down. So it helped move to the next segment in my life instead of being stuck. Right. You know how sometimes you could be stuck 
because you haven't got that out. Right, absolutely. So I needed to get it, get it out. So I said, let me talk about what I've been through with cash money. Let me talk about what I went through with my mom. Let me talk about everything that I went through, but not being a blamer, just being a person that learned from her mistakes. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how the first book came about. So then uh, I taught myself about af affirmations. Uh, I read the book, The Secret. I watched the video, The Secret. I didn't manifest a lot of things in my life. I had a vision board one time when everything on my vision board came true. You know, so then I came with the second book, Morning, a Morning Affirmations and Inspirations for the Soul. Because when you keep saying you've been, you know, repetitious, you could really start feeling it. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. Like now, like, and and sometimes people think when you do affirmations that you're not going to have a negative day. You probably going to have a negative right. day. But if you keep saying it, you're going to remember that's the tools you need to go back to, what you were saying earlier, oh, I'm going to have a good day, or uh, everything working out great or greater for my good. You don't want nothing to change that energy. Right. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So that's what I kind of do now. I be like, well, and it, I, feel like, I feel like the best books are the ones where you, you don't, write yourself as the victim. You yeah. Write, you write yourself yeah. as the storyteller telling what happened and then the answer afterwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you write yeah. it as being a victim, it gets to be not... Uh, someone really can't learn from that, yeah. I feel like, you know? Yeah. It's, it's weak. Yeah. It's weak playing the, the victim and it's like you part to yourself like, feel sorry for me. Right. You know? And I hate that. I like the... Like I said, I like to learn from what I've been through, and I also like to teach, you know. And so, so many years in my life, I didn't always told people the wrong fucking things. <laughs> that now, <laughs> in my 40s, I'm like, nah, I'm going to tell you the right thing, because that's wrong, because <laughs> I went the wrong way, you know, yeah, being no, evil and yeah. conniving. Uh -huh, absolutely. You know, and the reason why I let people know about that side, because I want everybody to know that you are going to carry negative and positive with you all the time. It's that choice. Right, right. That decision you got to make when things happen, you be like, I could do this, but then I could walk away. Right. Because sometimes that could be life-saving tools, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Just walking away. Absolutely. Or you want to sit there and entertain that person and they get stupid. We, then it get bigger than what it's we supposed all, We all need that little Miss Legendary Miss T yeah, talking you need, right here. Yeah, right you here. need that. I, I need it. You need you know, that. Make, and then I have another book that I'm currently writing called uh, Let Your Heartbreak Push You Towards Your Greatness. This book going to be so good for women, but also for men. Because it's talking about three different relationships I was in and how they all pushed me towards my greatness, whether they were whether they was negative or whether it was good, it still pushed me right. to not give up, right. to keep going. Or I'm crying today, but the storms don't last. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like I was telling you with the first book. So yeah, so I, like I said, I'm into the medical field, writing a book, still doing me as Miss T. Like I said, because I want my hands in different things and mm -hmm. I want multiple strings of income. Absolutely. So, and then my, you know, with my legacy or whatever, I just want it to be way more than music. I want you to learn something from me. There you go. You know. Well, you can put all that in music too. Yeah, yeah, you, know? you could, yeah, you could put you it can all put in all music. Into that too. Music, so. Yeah, but it's 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 good. To That's awesome. Want to be uh, a, a little beacon of hope, huh? There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, so I know where most people are probably going to know where to find you, but why don't you let people know where they can find you and your socials and your music and and everything about you? I was you. talking too much, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, you can find me on Instagram at the legendary Miss T. M-S-T-E-E. -E, the T-H-E. Legendary. Miss T on Instagram or go to legendarymisst.com to my website and you could uh, check out the books. I'm going to put t-shirts up. I'm going to put a fan page up. I ain't put that up yet. But you guys, if y'all want to find out more information about me, uh, y'all could Google me and find out, you know, I was the first girl that was signed to Cash Money. Uh, well, and, uh, yeah. and the Bounce, bounce and Museum And the Bounce coming. History, the Bounce Museum coming. Coming soon. Coming soon. Yes. 
It's really coming soon. It's really coming soon. Yeah. All right. That That's coming to fruition. We're making it work. We're we, speaking we, it into existence. We better. Right now. <laughs> right now. Well, great. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you for joining. I, we had a great conversation. And thank you guys for coming We're to Elation, where we find exhilarating euphoria through creation and collaboration.